Hello and welcome again to the Simple Ground Homestead. Today we are going to be looking at an old fence stretcher and learn how to stretch barbed wire fence with it. This is a video that's been requested and it's going to be one of many fence fixing videos. So stay tuned for more. We'll start here by looking at the different components of this fence stretcher. You can see that this good fence stretcher has been around for quite a few fence fixing experiences. I grew up using this one. It's a good sturdy solid fence stretcher. Now this fence stretcher is made up of a few features. First of all, uh, the grabbing portion. You'll fit one side of the broken wire here and the other side there. Um, this will clamp down on the wire itself. Holds it pretty good. Then it has a ratcheting motion that tightens the wire. You push it all the way one direction and it'll slide. Now that's that's an important thing to remember before you start stretching because if you get going too quick and you go too far it can come right back and smash your fingers. It hurts pretty bad. Now that you know what the fence stretcher kind of looks like and some of the basic functions, let's put it on some wire. Alright, here's my loose top wire. I'll wiggle it so you can see it here. Here you can tell it's ready be to be stretched. Now it's a very common mistake when you're fixing a really long fence to uh, say, oh man, it's, it's loose right here. I'll just take my pliers and grab onto it and give it a twist or two and it'll be tight. I've fixed miles of fence and I've seen people do that. Now the problem with doing that, every time you bend this wire, you weaken the galvanized coating. That will allow the wire to rust and it'll weaken the wire. As the wire becomes rusted and, and brittle, it'll break and you'll have a, a fence full of splices which will be no fence at all. <laughs> so even if you have to walk a long ways down the fence, go and find a break that's already happened or go find where your wire ends and tighten there. Believe me, if you have to tend a fence for 10 years straight, you'll rather uh, have a fence wire that's all in one piece. Now we're gonna go find the end of the wire and, and tighten it there. Now I've decided to stretch the wire here at the gate post. You see I'm undoing it. Um, have to remove a staple here. Pull out my handy dandy pliers. I'll put a link down in the description if you want to learn more about fencing pliers. Pull out the staple there. Now I'm loosening the wire before I hook up the fence stretcher. Uh, that way the fence stretcher is not in the way. Now you make sure the fence stretcher is good and open before you get started. Um, connect the wire. Make sure you have a good solid connection. And then you can hook it on the post. Make sure everything's good and tight before you stretch it too much. Um, make sure you keep an eye down the line as you stretch and tighten. Uh, there's a lot of danger in over tightening a wire and having it break and hit somebody. Make sure the line's clear of people and yourself. Uh, looks like tightening that top wires loosened the other wires. That's very common. Now that the wire is as tight as I want it to be, um, I'll tighten it around the post before I release it. Um, make sure you wrap it a couple of times at least. Sorry about my arm in the way there. But you get the idea, just wrapping it around the wire. Once it's good and tight, you can release it. And there you go. Here I've taken my fence apart to give you an example of how to stretch a broken fence, or a fence in a broken spot. You start with your fence stretchers all the way apart and open up both ends. Attach the one side. Now, um, I left this side open. You want one side open and you want a loop on the other side. Here's my loop. 
Now the loop was already there or else I would have shown you how to make it. Make sure you leave it loose. Uh, don't, don't bend the wire too much because it'll wear off the galvanized coating like I talked about before. Now you want to make sure everything's good and tight. Um, you'll see here as I tighten it, the wire will slip. There it went. Um, that's why it's always so important to check down the line. Make sure it's clear before you stretch. Make sure everybody's away from it. Uh, at any time your wire could slip out or break and it will really hurt people. Once you have it tight enough you can put the one loose end in and bend it back over like that. Um, now it's very important if you leave it like that to get the fencing stretcher out of the way uh, it'll just come apart when you loosen it. I've seen people hold it with one hand. The best option is just to give it a twist. You can get it started and hold on to it with your fencing pliers. Finish it. Just one complete revolution will hold it safely while you get your fence stretchers out of the way. Break it open like that. Uh, disconnect the wire. It's pretty easy. Now I can hold the wire and work with it out of the way. It's also not going to release and hurt anybody. You can tell using these fence stretchers makes the job so much easier. Now after I have the wire stretched and out of the way I'm going to install a staple. The trick with installing staples of course don't staple the wire completely against the, the post. You want to leave it loose here. You can see it's loose. That way as the wire bends and flexes, uh, it can move down the line. Thanks again for watching this video. And a special thanks to the cameo appearance of two special goats, Daisy and Astrid. If you want to see more videos from Simple Ground, click on Daisy, who's on the left. If you want to see more videos about fencing, click on Astrid on the right. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our channel. You can do that by clicking down on the water trough. We did this video by a special request. We do our best to honor requests. If you want to see a special homesteading technique, uh, ask us in the comments below. Thanks again for watching.